Hello guys and welcome back to some more Let's Play Urban Vasalis 4 as uh, Ruthie Litu La 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 Lania and uh, Navara. I'm playing as uh, Navara and he's playing as Ruthie La 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 I really just need to get to level 10 in admin tech so I can freaking form with Lania and I'll have to, I don't have to do this thing anymore where I'm... I need to get the next diplomatic thing in my exploration ideas which will give me enough range to colonize, I mean core, uh, Navara. Not Navara, the source. I already own Navara. I am Navara. Ha! I made a yoke. Alright. A yoke? It's a Swedish for joke. Well, uh, Swedish English, I should say. Swedes are dumb, so. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, where are where, where, where them bitches at? Where are we at? What are uh, we doing? I'm annexing Riazan. Oh, and I'm just chilling, aren't I? Uh, yeah, aggressive expansion. Being allied with Castile. Oh, okay. I completely forgot what I was allied with. <laughs> We were yeah. like discussing it before the thing, before we started recording. We weren't sure who I was allied with, but it's Castile, and at the moment they're they're fairly much stronger than France, so I'm no. okay with that. I am allied to Poland, I know for a fact. I don't know if there is anyone else out there that I'm allied to. Anyone out there? Anyone out there I'm allied to? Okay, uh, I have like zero aggressive expansion on anyone except Aragon, so I'll be going to war fairly soon. I have no army for some reason. Where the hell is my well, army? I need to pause recording for a second to fix my sound. There you go. See, I've got this thing where I get the sound bug unless I tab out right after being in the game. Hmm. Anyway, I'm back recording. Um, yes, I am fabricating my last claim on Aragon. How big an army does Aragon have? Oh, 18,000. That is some crazy shit. Yep. Do you think Castile will help me. I mean, that's not for me to say. <laughs> we'll have a look. Um, on the 22nd of January, I can declare war. Just so I can have a look and see if Castile will join. Um, oh, Sweden's having rebels. Danish and Norwegians, Norwegian patriots. Go, 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 go. Break free of the... Vi oh, Danish noble rebels in Finnmark. Yeah, break free. Not that noble rebels want that, but still, do it. Well, technically, it's a Sami province, so. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Freaking Sami. Uh, okay. Where the bitches at? Okay. Um, do you mind if I'm boss? No. I don't think I'm. Am I doing? Do I have something? Oh. People no longer consider each other rivals. Morocco is considering me a rival. I fucked them up for thinking that. <laughs> Shut up, boy. Yeah, they're my bitch. Oh, I've got a Regency Council, don't I? And my king is 11. Uh, that was unfortunate. <sighs> I guess I can't declare war. I have a bunch of troops stuck in Perm. It's not the worst place you can have troops stuck. Well, oh, now I just left the military coalition. Very nice. I mean, at least you've cock-blocked any Russian country from, you know, getting that Siberian booty. Yeah, I guess, but, you know, still, it's... I think someone just fell outside my door. <laughs> oh. Shouldn't be laughing at that. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, I'm going to sell these troops back since I can't declare war. Well, the issue about the troops stuck in Perm is that they serve no purpose in Perm, because I can't go against Novigrad, I cannot go against the Golden Horde, and they are the ones blocking me, so I'm basically it's just stuck. For now. You will find your golden opportunity. I'm sure there will be a succession crisis or that Novgorod will be like dumb oh, or something. Maybe I just... Oh, hello. I can actually get access through Kazan. Oh my god. Have you seen Riasan's uh, claims? It's fucking crazy. Whoa. Well, there you go. That is some prime vassal feeding right there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm currently annexing them, so that's not going to happen, actually. That is true. Oh, I can finally get my, uh, globular, globe, wait, what? Oh, shit. Hold on. No, this is the right one. Never mind. Don't mind me. Uh, and I actually just realized that I did have a plan to invade Novgorod. And now I, I am now making uh, the Azores my core. Ooh. Which means colonization. Here I come. Although, fighting Novgorod will require me also fighting Byzantium. And Novgorod is no joke. I mean, they have 17,000... At least that's as far as I can see. I, I'm sure I can defeat that though. Plus my vassals and everything, it should be alright. Yeah. 
Yeah, and Poland. If Poland is in, then, you know, life is good. Oh, there's Russian Patriots in uh, the Golden Horde. Yeah, but I, if I would have to make a wild guess, I'm going to guess that they're going to go to Muscovy and not my vassal, sadly. Get one stability or gain 20 Papal Influence? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what. <laughs> oh, wait. Stability increase. <laughs> Uh, as well as reform desire, we're now at eighty-nine percent. Uh, no, wait, I mean, no, no, that's my religious unity. I was looking at the wrong thing. We're fifty, actually fifty-nine percent reform desire. It's not that much. You'd, you'd think it'd be more by now, wouldn't what? you? It's it's only fifty-nine percent. The what? reform desire. Game changed since last time we played. Have you seen the new uh, the new way the reformation worked? By the way. Yeah. The with the fucking uh, like centers of uh, religion. Oh, yeah, that, that's old news, man. I know. But I mean, I haven't played this game in quite a while. <laughs> yeah. I am Lenoob right now with this new version. This is weird, because wasn't it at 80 something last time we checked? I'm pretty sure you were looking at your national unity. No, I'm pretty sure that's weird. Great. I can't have gone down from 80 to 59. Well, a lot of things just happened. I mean, it might just be something about reloading. I don't know. No, no. I, I, very, I, don't know. I very much doubt that. Well, there you go. I need to get the... That is right, I still have a freaking diplomatic, or I still have a idea slot open. Fucking Crazy. slot. <laughs> idea slot open. Now, um... Is there a reason? Oh yeah, that's right, I actually do want to get technology above anything. But they run, and, and the Asaurus, basically as soon as I took them, their unrest it would just change to zero. Because no, you my, you made you know. no, wasn't it? You did just crazy uh, autonomy. I did that too, but you know, penis. <laughs> um, where were we? I was well then so. <laughs> you must admit I have some sound arguments. <laughs> what is it? Also, my template is gone. Oh no! I like templates. Templates have really saved me a lot of time. Yeah, templates are nice. I used to like spend half a video just like counting mm -hmm. troops I was creating. One, two, three, four. <sighs> okay, I'm about to steal troops Bermuda. It is time for the Colonel's Diallo. Hmm. I'm guessing that's Basque for colonization. It's gonna make a wild guess. Probably not though, because it sounds more Spanish. Basque is not really related to Spanish. He said yeah. this game, of course. <laughs> uh, paradox. Well, I mean, it, it really does help me, though, because it makes Catalan and Castilian the same culture group. Yeah. Which is nice. So I've got that going for me. Right, there goes a bunch of money on some lovely troops. So I've decided that I'm going to go with North Korea. Uh, North Korea. Um, <laughs> North, <laughs> North America and the Caribbean. Um, why? Because, um, yeah, that's why. Reasons and stuff? Yeah. You know, several of them. Ooh. Once again, you present sound arguments. Indeed. My logic is flawless. I don't think I'll be able to reach Bermuda. Hmm. Which shucks. Yeah. Um. So yeah, what's up with Lithuania? <laughs> I guess we'll just call it Lithuania for now. I just don't like it because it's so frustratingly mainstream. Yeah, I know. Well, um, what what's up in Lithuania? Uh, well, I'm annexing and I'm thinking about war. I and just it's uh, yeah, but I'm just questioning where to do and what to go. Wait, what? <laughs> um, Seems legit. Oh, what the hell, Norwegian nationalists! You're supposed to fight Sweden. Not your Danish fighting? liberators. <laughs> Danish liberators. Excuse me, do you have a problem with that? Yep. I really want to begin colonizing. I just need to get a bridge to Perm so I can go annex them. 
my core progress on the Asaurus is almost done, so we'll see if I'll be able to reach. Probably won't be. Alright, do I have any inflation? Uh, barely anything, so I'm not going to bother getting an advisor. And here goes. Ooh, I just got an advisor that might actually allow me to annex some more vassals. Ah, uh, uh, it's too far away. If I was orthodox, this could work, but I'm not, so... Yeah. Awkward. Yeah, dank. Nice meme. Um... What the fuck? Oh my god, Provence! Holy Provence. No, that's old news. Once no, but again. Look, look, look between Burgundy and Burgundy. Did they yeah, take that before? Yep, that's our news, Mara. Oh my god. Mara? Do you have any news Right. You wanna fight about it? <laughs> um... Uh, come on. Oh, Moroccan nationalists are at 95%. I'll have them revolt just so I can kill them. I think... Well, what do I think? What do I think? That is the question. I don't know. Ask yourself. You better lose yourself. In the well, I guess I'll try and start out with the whole... War against Novgorod thing, but I really want to get that building that gives you... Um, extra diplomat first. Oh, Denmark got their land back. Go they Denmark. Did. Yeah. Really? Oh, that one. That, that yeah, chunk of land. My hometown is now part of Denmark again. Yeah, so Denmark is kind of modern day now, except for Holstein, which should yeah. be German. <coughs> should be Danish, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant like it's, you know. I know, I know. I was making a yoke. But, um, yeah. Other than that, yeah, you're right. Yep. Five out of five. Norwegian Patriot is completely fucked up. They're now losing. Or nationalists, I think they're actually nationalists. Here's the thing, if I vassalize Muscovy, I could do some serious vassal feeding. Oh, yeah. You give them all the Golden Horde. Yeah, but once again, I can't really fight the Golden oh, Horde, no, so... I forgot to pay for my... What's no, up? I was paying for my army. How did my army die? I was paying for it. Where are you fighting? What are you fighting, etc.? 8k Moroccan rebels. I had 7k. And they spawned right on top of me, and I died. For some reason, I'm not surprised. Shit, that shit kind of shit happens sometimes. How much money do you have, bruh? Uh, decent chunk. Could you send me some of that decent chunk? Because I'm broke, and I need to build an army. Why does there always come up these events? Forcing me to leave, like I'm, I like that. Literally, the only thing stopping me from going to war. I'm just waiting for enough money to buy that building. Yeah, one, two, no one. Because maybe I should wait a little bit longer to annex Riazan before I go in there. I don't know. Hey, new king. I don't know. Two, three, five. There we go. New army being built. Sweet. I know. Muscovy has entered into the coalition. Well, go Muscovy. Against you? What? Are they in the coalition against you? Yeah. Well, they don't know what they're signing up for. They do. It's literally a coalition with only them in. Oh. Because Novgorod left it in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> okay, let me... I need to get to Portugal. You won't give me military access, I'm guessing. Yeah, fat chance. Here's the thing, if you, get, you, if you take all these uh, missionary strength increases, uh, Catholic decisions, etc. Do you lose them if you convert or do you keep them? Um, which ones? Uh, like for example, well I just took a bunch of them. Um, and here with a weak claim, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, will I get a personal union? I just need to check this. Nah, I won't. Good. Um, what I meant was that, like, things like Advancement of the True Religion Act. No, you'll keep those. Oh, well, that should... I don't know. Are, I, I mean, I do believe some of these would be uniquely Catholic. 
Oh, uh, you mean if um, I'm thinking you'll keep them? I'm like not the sure. heretical combo act. Go. They might go away. I thought. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I actually can't tell you. No. No. I'm sorry, bro. Bruh. Sorry, bro. You in a fight about it? You in sorry? Are you in sorry, bro? I'm sorry, bro. Can you forgive me, bro? <laughs> oh, I guess. Thank you, bro. Oh my god, these troops are absolutely gonna annihilate me. Unless I land on them right now, they're gonna take my town. Hmm. We can't have that because, you know, nationalism. Forever. Yeah. This is the guy who wanted Holstein to be Dan Danish. Excuse me? Holstein is Danish, they just <laughs> don't know it yet, okay? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a nationalist. I'm okay with the way territories look right now. Except Greenland. It must not become independent. <laughs> um, seriously, well, is the game uh... auto saving? It's yeah, a, but it's, it's, it's a Steam it... Cloud save. What are you using Steam Cloud? Why are we using? I don't Steam know. Cloud? There you go. It just it just stopped. You may unpause. Yeah, I clicked it. It just decided not to work for some reason. Oh, Klemken is at war with Morocco. Quasim nationalist in Riazan. Ah, I don't think so. Military coalition against us. Oh Is shit! I need to find my advisor right now. Right now. Go. Um, I was down to one ducket. Hmm. Oh, new air three six three. Not reasonable. It's not that bad. Oh, uh, Tangiers got reverted to Moroccan control. Hmm. And my town has fallen under Moroccan rule. Well, not Moroccan rule, but Moroccan Patriot rule. Yeah. But I shall retake it. <laughs> In the name of glorious Navarra. Indeed do. do. Look at that, I can actually convert these things now quite reasonably. That is interesting. Hmm. The PMZ hits me. I'm gonna convert, so it's all good. Yeah. Reformed or uh, Protestant? Protestant. Why does that bother you, huh? No, I'm just you know. Not bad about it. You prefer <laughs> Reformed? Um, I don't know. I I actually kind of uh, I I I used to do always Protestant, but after those changes they did to Reformed, I don't know anymore. I don't. I just don't know what's best. I like the tech bonus. Saves you a lot of monarch points. Hmm. Okay. No, it's not a tech, it's an idea. But yeah, that's what I meant. Idea, whatever. Tech, whatever. Same thing. Whatever. <laughs> oh, hello, I just sped up the annexation of Riazan a lot because of that advisor I had. So now it's gonna annex any day. Or like, not well, any day in two years, but still. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna land on Geharb with 8k troops right now. Probably die. Wish me luck. Alright. Wait, how, how, what kind of numbers did they have? 10,000. I've got 8,000. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, but I can't go in any other way. Yeah, we'll get more troops. I can't. Is, is your force limit only 8? Well, I have 8 boats, and I have a force limit of 8, yes. But you're gonna die. There's no. It serves absolutely no purpose. I'm at gonna, all. No, I'm gonna kill them. Well, I'm not gonna pay money to build an army up. If you, I can send you a little bit now to strengthen yourself. But you yes, know. of course. Thank you. Thank you. That would be very useful. But I'm not gonna pay for you building up your army if you just suicided like that. Oh, I'm not. It's not gonna die the army. I got my boats outside. Uh -huh. But still, it serves no purpose. Anyway, if you spare the money, that'd be nice. Thank you. That came just as I was about to go bankrupt at the end of the month. <laughs> hmm. The fuck is but yes, to answer your question, yes, my force limit is eight. Oh. It's kind of sad, I know. I'll fire these guys along. I don't want them to win. Morocco, give me military access. I might as well just declare war on them, just to go in and uh, kill those rebels. Yeah. They still would join. You know, what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start fabricating a claim. Oh, come on, really? My yeah. plan just didn't work. Well, it, it the whole purpose of it is not going to work now. 
Why not? I'm gonna start taking loans. I'm running out of the sweet, sweet monitos. Darn it, who the fuck is invading Georgia? You're messing up my plan. Even buddy. plan. Right. Plan B, maybe? I heard that, um, someone said in my comments that if you... Oh, how was it? If you support rebels in a country, you get, um, Akaz's belly. Maybe. You're really not paying attention, are you? That's also really old news. I know. <laughs> that is when we were looking for Akaz's belly. Just okay, more. Uh, no, I'm not looking for Akaz's belly. Um, and also, you, you won't get that... Unless there are a lot of rebels already there, you can't just get that Akaz's belly out of nowhere, you know? You have to have a, you have to give a certain amount of money. There has to be a certain amount of locals there, and also and a really annoying thing is that if the rebels already have revolted, you cannot support them. Oh, that's stupid. Well, you can support them, but you can only support the unrest for a future revolt, and not actually the revolt that has risen up. It's really dumb. I guess that's a feature of like the new revolt system. That's you know factors into it. They can't just pop up. They have to like you know build the unrest. What? What? I just lost a cardinal. Not that I paid too much attention to that, but still, that's annoying. How's Riasan coming along? Uh, I'm gonna have any day now. How far along are you? 98%, close to. Hmm. It's really close. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna declare war on Morocco in, this, in a jiffy. Right now it's at hundred percent. Come on, be a part of the nation. Well, I'm declaring war in Morocco. Here we go. Glorious Lithuania. That is actually quite nice. Hold on, I have to look at that. But first, I must declare war in Morocco. Ooh, that's a very nice Lithuania you have there. And it's unusual because I mean, usually Lithuania goes west. From my experience, if they ever yeah, do anything other than becoming Poland. a yeah, but Poland is you know Poland. Poland cannot into annexation, cannot into Commonwealth. Yeah, no. cannot can into AI though. So you know, so now at least there's no threats. Now I have plenty of army. Of course, I have to disband a this chunk of it because I'm more far over my force limit. I'm ten over my force limit. Oh joy. Joy to the world, Gaddafi dead. It's actually quite tragic how little of an increase in my first time I got from annexing Riazan. Alright, I have to go kill those rebels before they succeed. Well, they don't. They won't actually succeed because I'm at war with the country. It would, however, be nice if Spain helped me invade. Uh, yeah, why are you going against Morocco? Because that's the only way I can get rid of my rebels. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah. They wouldn't give me military access and I can't do a naval invasion. Mm. And I'm not losing this territory. That makes sense, I guess. So, could you land your troops by any chance, Castile? Come on. Come on, Castile, just land your fucking troops. Do it now. Oh shit, no, 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 oh, they attacked me and they're outnumbering me. Two to one. Okay, but you did get Castile in on it though, so maybe. Maybe, yes. I'm actually doing some severe blows to their morale. Why can't hmm. I flee to my boats? I don't know. Oh shit, I'm out of morale. Come on, get on the boats. to the open sea where everything is made of ice cream oh I won oh shit nice still need to nice. find what to do with those rebels though come on Castile I'm gonna set a Castilian objective I hope the AI fucking responds to my objective Huh, 
Um, what? Castile is not just having their fucking army in Toledo. And they're not moving. Fucking hell. Uh, that's unfortunate. I guess I can just keep my troops back in my territory anyway because, you know, the surrender progress won't go up for the rebels while I'm at war. Hello, I can actually go ahead and peacefully vassalize Valachia. Oh really? That's interesting. Hmm. It's nice, but you can't get to them if you ever, you know, go to Earth Poland. Yeah, I know. So... But I do have room for another vassal, so I think it's time to go creating. And I will get rid of another vassal soon as well, so... It's time. Mm. But I do have some other priorities, though. Dude, come on, Castile. You must have, like, fucking 10k you could send to fight. You've got 40k in your homeland, and they're just standing there. <sighs> I took a loan of 24. Right, I'm gonna try going in to deal with the revolt. Fucking hell, everyone is allied to everyone. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go in and fight 10 against 13. I guess I could swoop in and exterminate the Livonian Order, but you know, that's not what I really want. You should go to Worth Poland. No, they're my friend. For now. And I don't wanna attack them until I have to. And I wanna go east. I don't wanna go too much west. True, but you still need Ruthenia. Yeah, but you know, level 10 tech, it's gonna be a while. Yeah. Alright, here goes. 9 versus 12. Who will win? It better mm -hmm. fucking be me. Yes, I'm winning. I'm winning. No, they're sending in 6k reinforcements. No, I'm losing. Getting zero on my dice. Retreat! To the bouts! Are you winning? Like, what? How is the war going, actually? I don't give a shit about the war. I only care about the fucking revolt. <laughs> if you're not, are you? What? Isn't it? Can't you just stand there? What do you mean? I'm standing in the province and just do your thing and stuff. What do you mean stand in the province and do my thing? Uh, the uh, rebel province. But I have to defeat the army there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. And I can't, and I'm out of manpower. And Castile is standing there with 40k in their own territory, just standing still. Huh. So, yeah, I'm fucked. Hey, I got my carnal back. Sweet. Hey, look at that. Morocco is seizing it from the rebels. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're standing in the same province, not finding each other, but they're seizing it from them anyway. You know what? Oh. That might just be good for me. Because if they get it, that means it won't revolt and I can just get some minor peace with Morocco. Yeah. Of course, I'll have lost all my manpower, and I'll be fucked. <laughs> but, you know, it's... But other than that, you know, it's alright. Yeah. This guy gets the point. Alright, not that I have a guess's belly, but other than that... There you go, Morocco now occupies it. Conquer Calm, of course I have the mission to Conquer Calm. No, just let me, let me just put my... Land maintenance modifier down. There you go. I feel like I declare far too little war in this game so far. I'm not gonna give you garb, so just take my money and get peace with me. We've lost the effects of Crusade. Guess I'm not funding my army, or the Pope has called a Crusade for something else. Nope, still Morocco. Hmm. So what are you going to do with Morocco then? What kind of peace are you looking for here? Any peace where I get to keep my province? Why do you really want the province? What on earth are you actually gaining from that thing? Nothing! So why, like, what is going on? I don't know. Should've probably just let it go. <laughs> yeah. I don't like to lose. <laughs> what the fuck, Portugal? Portugal's taking Bermuda! How do you have the range? This is the fucking modifiers I was talking about. Locanations? No, not Locanations. Portugal gets insane um, 
like idea groups and oh, okay. things and everything and decisions that just give it this huge ass colonial range. I have to go to North Portugal again. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, if I do it while Bermuda's a colony, I'll get an automatic core on it. No. Oh. That way I won't have to bother about the colonial range. So maybe it's a good thing then. Morocco, have my province. <laughs> Priorities! Take it. I have more important things to do. Want concessions other than gold? Yes, that's why I offered my fucking province. Ah, take it. They're gonna ask for some unrealistic bullcrap, aren't they? And they want me to, like, give land to Aragon. Fuck that. <laughs> what war operations? No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna... Can I, like, fabricate a claim on any Portugal shit? I, I think I can make a claim on Algarve because... Even though I don't technically still hold the province, um, that province in Morocco, it does border the same sea tile. Yes, I can. Huh. Look at that. Morocco, take my shit and leave. <laughs> Nobody likes you. When do you think we should end the episode? I don't know how long we've been recording. I, I will guess well, somewhere, somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Eh, we'll keep going until we're a bit over 30. Yeah, because I don't have the exact number. I, my, I started counting time a little late. I need to find a way to go to war with uh, Portugal. Darn it, the Russian patriots are going to give the land to freaking Novgorod. Of course, my vassal, is, my vassal is dead, so I guess that's reasonable, but still. Aha, if I declare war on Aragon, um, then Portugal will join in on their side. But I need to finish my war with Morocco first. But would you get Castile though? Yeah, they join. Huh. Well, that's a fancy technique there. Oh my god, this is the slowest claim in history. My god. Morocco, take the fucking peace deal. I swear to god. All of them? All the gods. Oh damn. I don't usually swear to all the gods, but when I do, I fucking mean business, okay? <laughs> give me my fucking shit. Well, by that I mean, let me give you this province. <laughs> give me the fucking shit now! Franz, you wanna be best buddies? Here, have a real marriage with me. Yes, thank you. Can we get a alliance? Yes, we can. Once I'm Hello. done being at war. I've seen France be friendly towards me as well a couple of times. France, you... Or I mean, fucking Morocco, you just take the fucking peace. Right now. I have a feeling I will be a friend of France at some point as well. Mm, France is a cool guy. No, he's a douche, but... Sometimes you gotta ally the douche too, you know. He's a pretty cool guy. France is not usually a douche to me. Well, depends on who you're playing. Ah, uh, Morocco just got the making gains thing. <laughs> Some crazy gains, bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. Making gains. Castile, just invade the fuckers. Oh. Well, there go that, goes that army. Dude, seriously, why do you not just want the fucking province? What else could you possibly want from me? Oh, there you go. They'll almost accept. Almost accept. Fuck. New. No. What's happening? Just lost an army. Well, they didn't lose it. It just kind of got defeated by scumbag Germans. Ink. Fucking Germans. Denmark and Sweden are at it again. Surprise, surprise. No.
Alright, so I'm now invading the Livonian Order. Because everyone knows that they need to be exterminated now. Mm. The time is over and it's time for them to die. Pretty much. There you go, I've got peace. Which means France will ally me. Whoa. Which means Aragon. Ah, what? No. What? Castile would join before, but apparently their attitude towards enemies has changed. Huh. Well. <sighs> and France has a truce with them. Which expires in fucking 15 years. <laughs> that feel when. Shit's not right, yo. I need Bermuda. It'll oh, be a hello. jewel of my empire. Repay all the loans. I just annexed Pskov. So that is nice. Get that going for you. Seriously, fucking Castile, would you just join me? Darn it, I don't have any boats. So that's an issue. Because of islands and stuff, who would have thought? Wait, when does Spain get the whole event where they get Aragon? I don't know, Isn't that, I feel like that should have happened a while ago. Because I swear to God, if that just like fires at some point and it's like, hey, fuck you! Uh, uh, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Oh man, Vilhainian nationalists. That is super good if they actually succeed. Because they will make the independent nation, well, they will create one of those Ruthenian nations. And I can swoop in and annex them and I can form Ruthenia without ever becoming not friends with Poland. Cool. And I like the idea of that. I'd give that a 5 out of 5. Or something like that. Come on, Castile, join. We've got amazing trust. Do you even trust, bro? I trust big time, bro. Who would have who ever thought you would ever get to see Perm invading the Teutonic Order? I didn't. I will be honest. It's pretty cool. Give it a 5 out of 5. Definitely. Castile, you mother bitch. Mother bitch? Yes. Oh. That's just an ordinary bitch. Mother bitch. What happened if I... Oh, darn it. And now those rebels that I wanted to win have come to my land because they're stupid and they do not think with their brain. Like I hate everyone else do. I hate stupid, stupid. What is this? Accepting would destabilize Castile. Why would it destabilize Castile? Do they have a royal marriage now? Because I swear, me mum. Wow, now I have 25,000 of them standing in one province. Oh, why would it destabilize them? Do they have military access? They do. How the hell am I supposed to deal with this? <sighs> I don't know. How am I supposed to deal with this? I need that I ber know. sweet, sweet Bermuda. <sighs> See, there was even another Polish province where they can have walked into. I mean, oh, I wish rebels... I, I would just wish logic was put into some of the decisions of... These things sometimes. Paradox? Logic? <laughs> Keep dreaming. Why would these rebels walk into my land when they could have easily destroyed the Polish army and gained independence for their nation? Instead they're gonna Ooh. go and a suicide mission to I my nation. I figured out how to do this. I'm gonna declare war on England. Really? What other alternative do I have? I don't know, don't declare, I mean that sounds like a bad idea. Why is that? Because I am getting tired of bailing you out. No, it's not, <laughs> because I declare war in England, they call in Portugal, both Castile and France are on my side. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, if the plan requires you to take an island, maybe calling in the, f you know, English Navy is not the smartest. Nah, I'll be I don't able know. to bypass it. 
All right, if you say so. So get my diplomat home from Castile. So what do I need to get the support rebels cast a spell? -y? I don't know the exacts. I just know that it's more than just clicking the button. Mm. I don't like that. I don't like that it's more than just clicking the button. If you know what I mean. Uh, oh, balls. All of them. Do they no. have any vassals? Okay, can we speed down the game? I just got ruined. Oh, what happened? I was I'm getting I've attacked speed by a nasty ass stack. Speed 2 or speed 3? Uh, two. Ah, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter now. They're dead anyways. Oh, sweet and big. I'm gonna suicide a bunch of other troops and they're just desperate to try and keep the battle going a little bit longer. Although I don't think it's gonna be enough. Go! Oh man, force march right now. That would have been useful. Truly. Okay, I might lose this, but maybe I can do some super badass counterattack. Need to figure out a way to declare war on Britain. Or England, I should say. Yeah. Um. They have a vassal. Whose independence I would ask to support, but they would not accept. <sighs> hmm. I could also just go for the no cast spelly, cast spelly, but that. Haven't you done that a lot, a lot at this point? It's not worked out in the past. Hold on, let me see how big the Bermudan uh, colony is. Ah, it's almost done though. Hmm. Fuck it, I'm doing it. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, well, yeah. Maybe now we'll end the episode. Um, yes, let's end this episode here. So thank you guys very much for watching. This was us. Yep. Yeah. Bye. And in bye. Bye. And bye. <laughs>